Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alien Waldo here with a new Minecraft video for you. Today's a special day because it is the first episode of our new series, Minecraft Explore. The series we take an in-depth look at different Minecraft mods in a survival situation. So instead of me just lining everything up in chests and on display and just kind of showing you each item and uh, what they do and what they look like, I'm actually going to be... Uh, crafting these items, having to go out in the world and collect the materials we're going to need to build them and to kind of give you guys a more of an idea of exactly how these mods would be used in a survival situation uh, like I said rather than just everything being on display so I'm really excited to get this started so well let's go ahead and get it started so the first mod that we are doing is the witchery mod now anybody who's heard of the witchery mod knows exactly how huge it really is. If you haven't heard of the Witchery mod, well, you are in for a treat. This mod is massive. There is so much it adds to your world. It adds, uh, well, obviously witchcraft, because it's called witchery. There's uh, circle magic, so you basically draw a circle on the ground and uh, throw some items inside, and you can cast a spell. There's a new type of brewing. There's a new oven that we're going to be building. Uh, that's actually what we're going to be doing today. There's new items, there's new mobs, there's new plants. It's insane, it's huge. There's even voodoo dolls, guys. It's, 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 it's crazy. So we're going to jump right into it now anyways. So the, because uh, this is going to take several episodes, of course. It's huge. It's uh, nowhere uh, near, uh, one episode won't, won't cover it. So it's going to be over a few episodes. Each episode we're going to have a different goal where we're going to explore a different item or craft something different. I'm going to show you guys how to use it. So the first thing that we're doing, the first video, we're, I'm going to craft and show you guys how to use a witch's oven. A witch's oven is very similar to the furnace like you can see right there beside me uh, except it doesn't smelt ore so you can't put ore in it but it does cook food so you can put food in it and cook it like you would a normal furnace. Uh, it also, you can put stuff like uh, like oak uh, wood or any kind of wood in there and get charcoal from it. Um, and you can even put some other items in there like saplings and get new items that you need for different spells and potions in the actual mod itself. So you can even put like tree saplings in there and you get, uh, I think it's wood ash I believe is what it's called. Uh, which is a regent that you need for different spells like I mentioned. So, let's just jump right into it. One thing I should also mention is that the uh, witch's oven actually cooks 10% faster than a regular furnace. So like I said, if you're cooking food or anything like that, it's uh, great to use. But it does have uh, an additional uh, purpose as well. There's, other than the regular sort of cooking things feature that it has, it also uh, creates byproducts through fumes. So you actually have to put clay jars in it. There's some extra slots and when you when something gets cooked in the furnace it lets off a byproduct that gets collected in your clay jar and then that's another thing that you have to use in spells and things. It sounds a little confusing right now. It is kind of confusing but once I show you guys everything uh, how it works then it'll make complete sense. Uh, it'll all come together. Now we do have to, like I said, craft this oven first. So for that we're going to need two iron bars and five iron ingots. So that's actually going to take a total of 17 iron. So I'm going to have to go in the mine here and mine some. So I do have some pickaxes handy here um, that we'll be able to go in and uh, get some iron. So I'm not going to drag you guys along the entire time that we're mining because that would just be boring for you. We all know what mining looks like. Uh, you don't have to be here by my side the whole time. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip past this part until we can collect some of the iron and get that uh, oven made. I'll see you guys, uh, well for you guys it'll just be in uh, one second. Alright guys, so I am finished mining the iron. I actually got way more than I thought I, well than I do need. I almost have a full stack, I got 62 iron ore. That's because as I was mining, I almost instantly came across this cave, which turned into a huge network of caves, um, which obviously I found a lot of iron in. So I didn't even finish exploring all the caves, because like I said, it's a huge network of caves, so uh, as soon as... I kind of did obviously get a little bit carried away, but uh, I, I, I decided, you know what, I, I've got enough. So 
I, gotta, I even found some uh, some topaz and some gold. I do have the Power Gems mod installed. Uh, just for full disclosure there. Uh, it won't affect anything in the Witchery mod. It just adds those Power Gems. Which uh, I got it mostly because if I get the, the materials to build a Super Drill. Then I'm going to do that. If you're not familiar with the Power Gems mod. It's just a, it's an, a mining tool that... Uh, Mine's really fast. And would you look at that? I've already got some iron in my furnace, so that's a good start. So that'll make us one set of iron bars. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the rest of that iron in there and get that nice and cooked. And I am going to at least make one. Okay, so we only need to do that once. I didn't, I completely forgot that gives us 16 bars. So we have the bars we need. We just have to wait. We need at least five ingots. Now while we wait for that, there are some other ingredients that we are going to have to collect. The next thing that we'll have to make after the witch's oven is made is clay jars, which is uh, another item that's been added with this mod. The clay jars, like I said, you put in the oven and it gives you, um, I think I'll need a shovel for this. Yeah, you put the clay jars in the oven and uh, that's what traps the fumes or the byproduct. So we are going to need some of those. Uh, that is... There's no shovels in here. So I'm going to have to find some shovels here. I've got so much junk saved up here that uh, it's ridiculous. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm just trying to sift through some of this garbage. Alright, so let's make a shovel. We need some sticks. Get some sticks. I'll make a wooden shovel. I have cobblestone. We'll make a cobblestone shovel. All right. So yeah, we do have to find some clay. Uh, I do have quite a few different systems of water around here, so hopefully there is some clay in one of them. So we'll take a quick look around. That one is. That's just a. Okay, that's a little pool there. There's nothing there. Let's jump up here, and I think this is actually one of the ways that that cave system comes out. Uh, it goes all throughout that mountain. Like, well, that's one of the ways it came out there. Uh, I believe it comes out on the other side as well. So yeah, like I said, that it's really cool. It's gonna come in handy, I think, in the future. There was a huge amount of coal in there that I didn't even bother with. But if I do ever need some coal, then I definitely know where to go. Now this looks promising here. Let's take a look around here and see if we can find any clay. Now that clay right there, perfect. So we need. Uh, nope. Just this actually should do it. I'm going to gather all this clay. Because uh, uh, four clay makes four jars. But we will need a lot of clay overall. So that gave us, what, 28 clay? Okay, so we have our clay. Now we do also need ink sacks for one of the things that we'll be making. So we'll kill a few squid since the squid are here. And I do actually have quite a few squid near the, the river that's near my house as well. So we'll kill some squid, get some ink sacks. By the time that's all done and over with, uh, we should have our iron bars, or ingots, rather. Alright, so let's go over. I'm going to grab some more squid over near my house. My keyboard's doing funny things. Alright, here we go. So we're running back to the house. Now, just a bit of a history on this map. Obviously, it's I just got a little bit of a house and that kind of thing set up. Originally I was going to use this for a different series um, where we would go in and mine the mountain but I decided not to do that one. Uh, I wasn't entertained with it myself so I wasn't really gonna make something that I didn't enjoy making because then it, it would just come off not seeming very well done in my opinion. So I went ahead and decided to use this map for uh, other situations like this. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, the short short story, short little history of this map. So we'll finish off the squid here. That gives us what do we got? 17 ink sacks. So we've got, we only needed one. Okay, there's another squid. We might as well I'll look at them all. We'll say, you know, we'll save some for later. Just we'll let them swim around. They've been there since I started in this map, so I don't think they're going anywhere. Not too worried. Alright, so let's jump in here. We've got perfect. So that's all we need to make our oven. 
All right, so now we're ready to make the witch's oven, guys. Now this is the recipe right here. You need two iron bars, so you need one there, and you need one there, and then you need five iron ingots placed like that. So there you go, we got the witch's oven. So I'll let you guys take a quick look at that recipe again so you know the recipe to make one for yourselves. All right, so we'll go ahead and craft that. I should uh, put all these pickaxes away while I was at the mine. And now we want to put it down somewhere. Now it doesn't matter where you place this thing. So you can place it right there and there you go. It looks like a like an oven. It's pretty cool looking actually. And if you right click at that, you see here, this is the interface. So this is where we put the jars, which we actually still need to make. So let's do that next. So this is the recipe for the jars, guys. So let's just again take a look at that. So it's easy, you need four clay placed in that pattern like that, and that'll give you four jars. And uh, I'm just going to use, uh, I'm not gonna use all the clay, cause I'm not sure if we need it for other things later. So I'm gonna save some of the clay, but we've got 20 soft clay jars. And yeah, okay. So what I'm gonna do, is we do have some furnaces over in the mine so I'm gonna bring these jars over to the mine and I can put my pickaxes away at the same time so it works so just head over the bridge here into the little mining station I'll put these pickaxes away alright so coal down here and the jars here, so this is how when you make the soft clay jars, you do have to put them in a furnace. I don't think the oven will work for these. So yeah, to put them in the furnace and fire them and then you'll get your clay jars like that. So we're going to let that do its thing as well. So we're going to have to get those cooked. Now one more ingredient that we're going to need, uh, I believe it's only one more, something that I don't already have is well I might need to find some feathers we need feathers we need a book so I'm gonna have to find some um, some sugar cane around here somewhere I'm sure I could find I think that's some right there actually so let's go grab that sugar cane right now because I might need to plant some more there might not be enough from just this so we'll get this sugar cane and plant it right now so then uh, hopefully it grows you don't have to wait too long for it. Oh, there's two two stacks here. Or two, I guess you'd call them. Not the stack in your inventory, but you know what I mean. Okay, so there's our sugar cane. And, uh, you know what? We'll plant... We'll plant three of them there. And now uh, we do need a flower called a belladonna. Now you can get the seeds for this. Just like seeds for wheat and... There's a whole bunch of new plants that have been added in this mod and to get the seeds you can actually basically do the same way the same thing that you would do to get uh, normal wheat seeds is you just break the long grass so I don't know exactly how common or uncommon they are so we might have to break oh there we go belladonna seeds perfect we do need mandrake seeds eventually as well let's just give this another quick might as well do this all the way home because we do need a lot of the different seeds obviously we're going to need them so might as well grab them now right while we're walking so we've got some more of those mandrake seeds I think that's more mandrake seeds yeah we've got another type of seed there it's a huge amount of new types of plants in this and they are staged plants just like this wheat here which I'm going to harvest that one's not grown yet, but whatever. Alright, so we'll put the belladonna down. And I might as well plant the rest of this too, because, like I said, it will be required later. So this is water artichoke. I think that's the one you plant on the water, yeah. So that's pretty cool, eh, guys? You actually get a type of seed that you plant in the water. Um, so those, those will grow. We'll let those grow. Uh, we'll let our sugar cane grow over there. We should have, I mean, we don't need any more of this iron, so I'm not even sure why I'm worried about that. Well, let's go grab our clay jars. 
And I think we should have everything uh, to do the next step. Let's see here. Oh, we're on our last clay jar. Perfect. So I'm going to grab that. Now, we've got the oven. We've got the jars. The next thing we want to make is a book. Now, a special book. It's uh, not just a regular book. We will need a regular book, of course, to make it. But we're making a book. It's called Witchcraft Collecting Fumes. And this is actually going to show us all the different types of items that we can put in the furnace or the, the, the oven to cook to get different types of fumes. And like I said, this will all make sense to you guys once it all comes together. So we have the ink sacks. We have... Um, so all we need is... Uh, well, we have leather. So we need paper to make the book. Uh, what else do we need here? So we have the ink sacks. We have charcoal. I uh, believe this furnace has... Okay, so we're going to need charcoal. Make sure we don't have any. Yeah. So we're going to need charcoal. We're going to need feathers. And we're going to need paper. And that belladonna has to grow as well for us to be able to craft this book. So we've now got to go chop down some trees. So let's grab this axe here. Let's not throw it on the floor though because I need it. Grab these trees, or this axe, chop down a tree, a tree should work, so let's chop down this oak tree here. And I've got the tree capitator mod on as well, so this will be nice and quick, there we go. And we do need these saplings as well guys, we're going to see how this all comes together, it's a lot of different ingredients, but uh, in the end it's all worth it. So let me go up here, okay. I do also have not enough items on, and I'll link. I'll have a, a link to all the mods I do have installed in the description below. But don't worry, none of them are really uh, game changers. The only one that's really big is the Witchery mod, and that's really the only one we're actually going to be looking at. Uh, anyways, I need to make paper. Which uh, okay, so I have enough to make the paper, and I should. I think I have enough leather, leather there to make the book. I think you need two pieces of leather, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, again, full disclosure guys, I am fairly new to the PC version of Minecraft. I've used used to playing on uh, the Xbox. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why I went into there. So yeah, I am new, so I don't know all of the recipes off by heart. But I'm getting there. But that's a great reason to use the Not Enough Items mod. If uh, you've never used it before, so I'm pretty sure. No, that's not a book. What is a book again? Oh, what did I just do? Okay, wait a minute. Is that the book, really? Okay. All right. Okay, so that was the book recipe. See, the more you know. So I've got the book. I do need a feather though. So we're gonna have to find some chickens because I don't think I have. I have some eggs. That's good. Okay. Because I don't hear any clucking. So. Oh, oh, we got. Do we have two out of one egg? No. What? What is that? What is that? Okay, that was cool. I've never seen that before. And did four chickens just come out of that one egg? That's insane. I've never seen that before. You guys let me know if you've seen that before. Because I've never seen that before. Alright, so now it's just a waiting game. So we got to wait for the chickens to grow up. we got to wait for those plants to grow. We've got to wait for... Well, I think that's pretty much it. And, uh, yes, yeah, so we'll make the charcoal. And uh, I'll skip ahead for you guys so you're not waiting with me. And then we'll get on to... I'll show you how the uh, oven actually works. Alright, guys. So I am back. So, we got the belladonna, it uh, it bloomed and I harvested it, I got the feathers, I actually went out and found some other chickens in the world and killed them instead and got the feathers, and um, I did need charcoal, we do need charcoal to make the book, 
Now charcoal, uh, when you make charcoal, it actually gives you a byproduct in the oven. So as you can see, I have foul fumes. Um, so that's the byproduct when you make charcoal in the oven. And again, I'm, we're about to see exactly how it works and how you make the, the, the byproducts. But as you can see, I got seven foul fumes uh, when I was making my charcoal. Um, everything else, I've, obviously I've sorted my inventory, everything is put away. So now it is time to make the book Witchcraft Collecting Fumes. So if we go over to our crafting table here, I already have it laid out the way it's got to be. So the book goes in the middle, guys. The belladonna flower goes at the very top. The feather goes on the right. The ink sack goes on the left. And the charcoal goes on the bottom. If you look here, there we go, Witchcraft Collecting Fumes. So we'll go ahead and craft that. And if we go over to it and right click to open it, we go witchcraft, collecting fumes. The witch's oven gives a practitioner of the art the opportunity to collect the fumes that may be produced when cooking. Remember that the oven cannot smelt ore, but it does cook a little faster than a furnace. So that's 10% faster. Place clay jars into the oven when cooking to collect the fumes. Food, foul fume, wood, foul fume. Cooking saplings gives you wood ash. And it also uh, can release a gaseous essence of the tree. So depending on what tree uh, sapling you put in will depend on what fume you get. So it's going to tell us here, oak uh, sapling gives us exhale of the horned one. Birch gives us breath of the goddess. Spruce gives us hint of rebirth. Rowan gives us whiff of magic. Hawthorn gives us odor of purity. Alder gives us reek of misfortune. So that's all the book is. It's basically just a, a recipe book, more or less. It tells you what, uh, how to get each ingredient. So if you come across a spell in one of the other in, uh, recipe books for the different types of casting, spell casting, or potion brewing, uh, if it says you need an ingredient, you can check this book and see if it's one of the ingredients that is created like that. So... What we need for the next episode, we are actually going to need, oh, hold on a minute, there we go. We need exhale of the horned one, so we need an oak sapling. So if we go in here, I put the jars here, this is where you put the empty clay jars. Just like any other oven, you put your fuel there, or a furnace, you put your fuel there and you put what you want to burn there. So if I put the sapling in there, as you can see, it's cooking quite quickly. We won't have to wait long at all. And when it's done cooking, we get the ashes. But as you can see, we did not get the fumes. It is not a guarantee. You will not get it every single time. So that's all right, because I do have some extra oak saplings. We should get at least one from these oak saplings, hopefully. If not, well, I'm going to have to go out and grab a few more oak saplings. But uh, we should get at least one. Hopefully. As you can see, it produces the wood ash, which is an ingredient you need for a lot of the other spells and brews later on. And uh, same with the foul fumes. I took advantage when I was making my charcoal to get those foul fumes because I will need them eventually anyway. So I figured instead of using the regular furnace, I will use the oven. So it's we're on our last one and we haven't gotten any of our uh, fumes yet, of our exhale. So we didn't actually get any. So five saplings didn't yield any of what we were looking for. So there's just to give you guys an idea. Um, it's not a guarantee every time. So sometimes you are going to have to go through quite a few. Um, you know, I'm going to need the axe. You're going to have to go through quite a, a few raw materials sometimes to get what you want. It's not exact. So I am going to have to go chop some trees down. Luckily, I do have the tree capitator add-on. If you're not familiar with the tree capitator add-on, basically, if you're chopping down a tree, um, you basically go for the bottom block of the, of the tree. Chop that down. It takes the same amount of time to chop that one block as it would take to chop that block and all the blocks above it. But it breaks the entire tree all at once, including the leaves. So you usually get a lot of saplings too. So over here I have quite a few trees planted. I do have some oak trees. So we need to chop down some oak trees and gather as many saplings as we can. So the next time when we put the saplings in the furnace, 
uh, we get at least one fumes because we only need one for the recipe. All right, so we have 31 oak saplings. If we don't get any from that, well, that's just bad luck, I guess. So let's head back through the mine here. And uh, we'll throw these in there. Now, I might want to keep a few as well so I can plant some more oak trees. One thing I'll kind of give you guys a little bit of a, uh, some, some, uh, a bit of knowledge beforehand. When we get to using circle magic, we are actually going to need to have a lot of nature. So trees, grass, flowers around our altar that we'll be using to cast our spells. And that powers up the altar, which uh, different spells require different amounts of power. It'll all make sense when we get to that stage. Alright, so we'll put the oak saplings in and hopefully we get one from these saplings. We should. There's 31 saplings here. So we're just going to let those burn and we'll see what we get. Alright, so we didn't have to wait very long. Our second one, we've got one. Exhale of the horned one. Now I am going to wait until we have five more wood ash, or maybe I'll round it so we have 25 saplings, and then uh, yeah, I'll round it. So I'll give us 25 saplings, and I'll keep those saplings for later, for either planting more trees or for making more of these if we need some later. So we'll, we'll get, we'll do one more, and uh, it'd be nice if we got an extra one, but it's not necessary. We don't actually need two. Okay. So we got everything we need. We can take that out of here. I'm going to leave the jars in there because there's really nowhere else we need them right now. We can put the wood away. We can put those away. We can put those away. And we can put those away. And we can put that away. And that away. And well, pretty much everything else right now because we're done. So that's it, guys. That's the witch's oven. That's how the witch's oven is used. Um... The primary use of it is to get these, the different types of fumes, like we saw them all in here. So to get all these, so the foul fumes you get from cooking food and wood, and then all the other fumes you get from saplings, and that's also how you get wood ash. So that's what this is for. You use all these different fumes for different brews, different spells later on down the line. There's some pretty complicated stuff, some pretty... Uh, big spells that need a lot of ingredients to cast so there's a lot of steps involved in even like this is one of the most basic things in the game in the in the mod is the witch's oven and using it and even that on its own took several steps just to get that so it's a very in-depth mod i'm really looking forward to getting into it even more next episode we're going to be mutating some trees I'm just going to leave it at that. I'll let you guys, I'll let your mind wander. There will be a link in the description below for the website for the Witchery Mod. So you can go there and check it out for yourself if you want to. And uh, you can download it. It has all the information on the on the mod and uh, how it's used. So if you really don't feel like watching all my videos, I guess you could read the website. Or you could always just come back here and watch me put it to use in a real world survival situation. But that's pretty much all we got for today guys i want to thank you so much for coming out and watching the video i hope you enjoyed it i look forward to getting the next part out for you but until then you guys have yourselves an awesome day and i'll see you later